Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the emphasis feature in Murph AI, as well as share some of my best tips for making your voiceover sound how you like or as realistic as possible. So we're in Murph AI here now, and if you click on this button, that's the emphasis button. So you can go ahead and click that. And to change the emphasis on the, the words in the sentence, you have to apply nodes. You can apply up to five nodes on the sentence or the block at a time. And depending on where you place it, it'll make the words that the speaker is saying sound higher or lower based on where the node is at. So for example, if we hit preview here, we can listen to the sentence without doing any changes to the emphasis. She said she did not take the money. Okay, so we can just play around with it and let's say I want nodes to be there. It'll go lower, higher, lower, higher. And I'll let you see what that sounds like. She said she did not take the money. So you can see here the difference in how he said it. You can reset it or if it's just one node you need to remove, you click on it and then hit remove node there. And let's go ahead and reset. So just a few tips on how to make the most of this emphasis feature. Murph AI recommends that you keep your blocks this block shorter. You don't want to have a whole paragraph that you need to use the emphasis feature on because you can only use five nodes at a time. The next thing I would recommend is it helps to say the sentence aloud how you want it. That way you can hear where the words should be higher and lower. That seemed to help me out. We don't want to put something really high and then something drastically lower right next to each other give it some time to flow it's more of like a the emphasis is more of like a flow if you put it like this i can show you but it will make the voice sound really weird and shaky and awkward this is what it would sound like i'll show you she said she did not take the money hopefully you can hear that it, it just sounds let's maybe we can do it really drastically like this she said she did not take the money All right so it it sounds more artificial that way you can hear that kind of creaky or shakiness in the voice I found that if you have a word that you want to emphasize, usually the lead up to it is higher or the lead up to it is lower. So let's say we wanted to emphasize she and make the nodes go up and then fall from there. Let's hear what that sounds like. She said she did not take the money. And then besides emphasis, kind of things to think about is punctuation. So punctuation does change how the avatar will say your words. So if, for example, we put a question mark, you can hear it'll he'll put a different kind of tone or emphasis on the word money. She said she did not take the money? Like a question. And also don't forget that next to the avatar, there's this filter where you can choose a different mood or way of talking. And so that also affects the emphasis a little bit. For example, let's try terrified. What's that? She said she did not take the money. So I hope that gives you a good start on using the emphasis feature in Murph AI. Please consider subscribing if you like content like this. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.